the cavity model was introduced by Lowe and a few uh, other uh, authors and some other authors uh, back in 1978. And it models the patch antenna as a lossy resonant cavity. The advantage of this model are it is applicable to rectangular, circular, ellipse, and triangular patch antenna, patch shapes, which is an extension to the uh, rectangular shape which uh, we have uh, uh, seen in the transmission line model. It accounts for higher order modes. Uh, it accounts for the feed inductance, depending, of course, if it is a coaxial probe or a, a, a aperture coupled uh, a feeding probe and so on. And uh, it provides some physical insight into the antenna operation uh, because it gives uh, higher order modes that can uh, also propagate in the cavity domain of the patch antenna and can be used for some other applications as well. Its drawbacks are, it assumes subtle thickness again, uh, uh, where age is much, much less than the wavelengths to avoid surface wave excitation. And it is unable to analyze multi-layer patch antenna elements, as uh, I mentioned before, like stack patches.